guys! Today I thought I would vlog because Matt and I are having a bit of a date day. Um, Fraser's in school, Caleb's at preschool, so we just have Jackson and that hasn't happened for a long time. So we are off to the shops. We're going to Chelmsford, which is a town near us, and they have like these nice new shops and we'll probably go to a cafe and stuff. So I thought I would just vlog, see what we get up to. So here we go. Where are we? Are you ready for a date? Are you ready? <laughs> right, we're now on Bond Street, but not Bond Street in London, Bond Street in Chelmsford. <laughs> so yeah, we're in Chelmsford now. This is like the birthplace of radio. That's the only thing I know about Chelmsford. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna go to a cafe first and then do a little bit of shopping. Right, we're out now and I wanted to show you what Jackson is wearing today because it is so cute. It's from my first year. It's a little baby grow. That's personalised. He's happy about that. He doesn't want to model it. <laughs> Sorry. He wants to go on his chair. <laughs> Right now we're going to shop and have a look for some like little trinkets from my desk and office area because it's not quite done. Jackson is loving the light section. <laughs> Can you? Alright, look what we found. We found some toys. So we're going to have a little toy break. It's a telephone. Do you like it, Jax? <laughs> I think we should get you this for Christmas. Right, we're just checking out all of the autumn and Halloween stuff. Look, they've got little outfits for the baby. So cute. And these ornaments are really nice. Look. I'm just at Charlotte Tilbury now looking for a new lipstick and look I found this one Hot Emily so I think it's a sign <laughs> Right we're in Tiger <laughs> we found a head massage look at his face he's it's something flying type he doesn't like it <laughs> <laughs> it's got some good stocking stuffers in here. Look, Jax, you might like this. Oh, it's not going to work. We have one of those. Look, these are so cute. Got little heart ones as well. These little plasters. They have literally got everything in this shop. <laughs> Look how cute this coaster is. It's like a big coaster. You could have that for cooking. Oh no, we need jars for cereal. Right, for Jackson's lunch, he has got cream cheese sandwich. He's going to have some of my tuna sandwich. Got a squash, carrot, apple, prune pouch. He really likes this one. And then his favourite. Got a tangerine. What's it called? Tangerine? Nectarine. No, yeah. Clementine. <laughs> What's it called? <laughs> it's an easy Satsuma. peelers thing. Satsuma. Satsuma. There we go. And then he quite likes these little fruity bakes from Kitty Licious. And I've got his little water. So yeah, this is his lunch. Yeah, I've got tuna because I thought Jaxi will have it. We're in prep. Daddy's got. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Chicken and bacon. Don't know. Don't know. Don't know. <laughs> Sorry. You my world of I just want you. I just need you. 
I don't know what it is you do I just want you, I just need you I don't know what it is you do Right, we're finished shopping. I only bought one thing, a jumper in h and and I've got an event on Friday and I was like, oh, I don't know what to wear to this event on Friday. And what did you say? You look nice in whatever you wear. No, he didn't. <laughs> he said, I know, why don't you spend 500 pounds on ASOS and then not return any of it and not wear any of it? Right, we're on our way to get Caleb from school now and I thought I would do like a little update about how he's getting on. Um, he's really really enjoying it like every morning when we have to put his uniform on he's totally up for it he seems to really like it and i'm really glad because i wasn't sure if we were making the right decision putting him in preschool every morning but actually i think he does need it he's he's going to be one of the eldest in his year he's four next month so he's quite an older one for his school year and i thought another year at nursery wouldn't have like been enough for him anyway um so yeah he's getting on really well there's just been like a few like he's had a few standoffs at school about like not wanting to eat and not wanting to swim and stuff like that but he seems to like really be making progress and like he's doing like cooking and loads of different stuff so yeah he's really enjoying it so we're gonna get him now and then yeah maybe he'll update on how his day's been <laughs> Welcome to uh, uh, my day at school. How was it? Good. Yeah, it was good? But I'll get back home. You get back home? What happened to your finger? I had it on a plastic. I had it on a mirror. Oh, did you? <laughs> Are you okay? Ouch. So what did you do at school today? I went to lunch. And saw Mrs. Bitch and Mrs. Clue and French. Did you learn French today? Yeah. What did you learn in French? I don't know. What can you say in French? I don't know. You know some French because you've said it to me. You say... <laughs> Bonjour. 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 And what are we doing now? We're eating some lunch because he ate zero lunch at school because it was salmon pasta. So we're making cheese sandwich. And he's obviously, as soon as he gets in, he literally takes off his whole uniform. Does anyone else's kids do that? Because he's literally like, just takes it all off. Don't want to wear it. He's like, did it fall off? Don't worry, we'll get another one. <laughs> Right we'll fix it. Is that oh 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 should we get a fresh one? No. Oh, are you okay? We're not going to bed this time. We're not going to bed just yet. No. It's only one o'clock. Got Buzz Light here. There's a massive spider on our window. Don't know if you can see it there. And Jackson is loving it. And I just said spider. And he went, spider? Is it a spider? Dad. Can you say it? I'm not going to talk now. But I did want to show you something really cool. Jackson has taken a few steps recently. And we have actually got him to walk like four or five steps <laughs> now. So I'm trying to capture it on camera. So we're going to try now. You walk to mummy. Oh. And smash your face in. <laughs> that wasn't so good. Jackson, yeah. Jackson, will you walk to mummy? Yeah. Jack, Jackson, look. Yeah. What's that? It's what happens when you try and get it on camera, so I know. Yeah. Jackson. Yeah. Are you come to the end and then walk. Are you going to just go on the swing? <laughs> come on. What are you doing? You gonna walk? Oh. Here come to mummy. Jack's gonna walk to mummy. I'll take this off you. Jack's in. <laughs> come on. <laughs> so cheeky. It's an earthquake. Woo! <laughs> What's he doing? You can do it. Ah. Oh. Good walking. Hey. 
Jackson, walk to mummy. Cool, huh? Right, it's really nice outside today. So the boys are playing outside and we have just sorted out the garden, had a bit of a clear out, you know, like before the winter. Matt jet washed the patio and the garden as well. So I'm gonna give you a little tour because I don't think I've ever done a garden tour on my channel before. Right, so we've got these gigantic bifolding doors. Excuse the state of my house inside. But you basically walk out and it's pretty much on the same level so Jackson can even crawl out and it's great for the kids. Right, so then you step out. We have the baby's little swing over there which has been great. He's probably going to be too big for it when he's two but he loves the swing so much. It's been really nice having one at home. Then the car that he got for his birthday is just there on the deck. This is our decking. At night it's quite nice because it's got lighting in it. And then we've got a football goal because obviously we've got three boys. They're going to play football. And then this is quite nice. Like the grass, what is that? Not grass. The vines have started to grow across the fence and go all like autumnal, which looks really pretty actually. And we painted them this greeny color, which has definitely weathered. And we painted the posts white. And then we found these hearts in Dunelms and they have definitely weathered over time. We probably have to replace them, but I think it kind of looks okay. And then over here in this corner is where we keep all of the plastic toys, which we probably have too much of, but I can't justify throwing any of it out because they still use all of it and they especially use it when they have friends around. So this is their trampoline. It used to have the covers around the edge, but I took it off because Fraser and Caleb are so capable on it. Um, I probably need to put it back on for Jaxie. There's his smart trike that we walked to the shop with. This is, yeah, do you wanna go? This is his little tyke's playhouse. Well, I actually got this for Fraser when Fraser turned one and it's been great. I really need to replace the doorbell battery, <laughs> but all of them have loved playing with this little house and it's actually great for storage in the winter as well. So we might put like the bikes and things like that inside there. And then this is a roller coaster that Caleb got for Christmas last year. Was it Christmas or your birthday? Caleb's gonna demonstrate, even though he's not wearing clothes, but you can't see. Wow, that's brilliant! And we have a big little tyke slide and the little one because every time I have another baby, I'm like, well, they're gonna use it. So Jackson's probably gonna use this one very soon. The big boys use this one. It's a plane over there, you can hear. And then over here, we have a little toy box that I bought about six years ago when we had Fraser. It's really weathered now. I found this on, not on the high street, I think. I think it was something called Planter Box. If I, if I can remember, I'll link it. And stand up. Can you walk now? Yep. What are you eating? Jelly. Are you allowed to have jelly right now? No, you're not. <laughs> Yeah, so this is a little toy box that we keep some of the outdoor balls and cars and things like that. So yeah, I quite like it. It's like a little pallet thing. And if you didn't know, all of the grass that you see is artificial. We decided to get artificial grass because we're not really gardeners. So it has been amazing. In our kitchen, because we have such big windows, if the garden ever looked messy, it makes the whole house inside look messy. And we hate doing like the gardening so we decided to invest in artificial grass which is amazing because the kids don't get muddy they can play out here in their socks whenever and it's also a little bit hello. squidgy and soft hello so if they fall hello. over my name is my name is stinks head that's not very nice <laughs> he learned that word today at nursery at school sorry did you learn that word yeah someone taught him that thanks for that also a little bit squidgy so when they inevitably fall over it doesn't really hurt as much as like the normal ground did so yeah we love it i would totally recommend it it lasts for 10 to 20 years and it is an investment but it's amazing i don't know why i've become like an artificial grass seller right now but i love having it so anyway i'm not getting commissioned for this <laughs> oh, it's actually such a bad cut baba does it really hurt? Oh, my poor baby. You okay? Oh, look at that face. 
I'll get you a plaster. Dad. Right, I'm just about to make dinner now, but I wanted to ask who out of my followers believes in the secret. I read that book years ago and I use it all the time. I think about what I want and sometimes things like that just happen. And it's really funny because, oh my, my sorry, my lens is a bit funny. Um, yeah. So the other day I started saying that I would like a new kitchen. Basically every other room in the house is done now. So you kind of come back to the first room. And we had this one done nearly seven years ago. There's nothing really wrong with it. So Matt was like, well, there's nothing really wrong with it. So let's just keep the kitchen. Anyway, since I said that I wanted a new kitchen, this has happened. Dropped a bottle on the, I don't know if you can see that. Dropped a bottle onto the hob thing and it smashed. And now I've just literally about to get something out of the cupboard to make dinner. And look what happened to the cupboard. It literally fell off of its hinges. So I think because I said I want a new kitchen, my old kitchen is literally falling to pieces. Stuff like that freaks me out. But um, yeah, I think I'm gonna need a new kitchen now. Look, <laughs> we've just had a bath. And now we're playing in the ball pool, aren't you? <laughs> Make it soft, though. Just give myself a feeling. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah, so I decided to move his ball pit into his room now because it just keeps going absolutely everywhere. And this room is so small. Sorry, it's a bit messy. Um, and also, it's ideal when I'm getting ready, I can kind of put him in here and he can play in this and with his toys and it allows me like five minutes to get ready. So yeah, I still love it though. I really love that this is like really nice and soft. So yeah. What, Jaxie? Who's a walking boy? Who's a walking baby? Yeah. Muscle man. Yay. <laughs> it's one way to get out. Look how I'm getting back in. <laughs> That's it. Ah. Oh, so fractured your skull on the side Ow. of the bed. <laughs> it's going crazy. We walked to Rosa. Mommy. karate lesson today and he learns a few moves and he's teaching Caleb how to do it aren't you let's have a look so you can put your hand like this and then put your other hand like that and then swap hands like turn this and then bring that around like that and you say Kia I really love it Kia 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 and then another move and just like look at my feet look at my feet when I'm doing this Oh, I know that, that looks, I know that is a type of football move. Oh, okay, that's that's wow, that's you say. Mommy, bye I want to show you something. <laughs> 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 